Ready? Okay. Uh, we're going to probe a 9-2 early style Cleveland block. We're just going to show you just how easy it is uh, to make a block perfect. Um, you can look at the screen here. As you can see, I've already done the preliminary. It just tells me to press the cycle. And I'm going to hit this button and let Marky take over. It's preparing to probe a block. And here we go. It's actually going to do a bore center. A uh, small block forward has a uh, 4.380 bore center. This will find it immediately. Identify any bores that are out around. It actually has a pressure uh, sensor gauge. It only moves like maybe four or five thou. It stops. It knows when it touched and when it stopped, so it's just math. And in a matter of seconds, we can qualify a block. It'll do this side. This will be considered number three cylinder, even though it's number uh, seven. And this is number eight on a Ford. It just always starts with this bank first, and then it rolls over, goes to the, uh, the right side bank. We actually probed everything right off of this hole here. That gives us a basic of where to start. I've already decked this block previously just to make sure I have a good surface to uh, probe. We're moving back to number one cylinder now because it's a forward, but that's number five. This was a repaired block. This whole cylinder right here was actually knocked right out of it from a bad connecting rod. I replaced the sleeve with a thick wall melling. Uh, honed it to 40 over and we ran it. We pulled it back apart just to check everything to make sure it's dead on because it is going to be a pretty high horsepower application. <clears throat> I just want to make sure the block didn't settle or move around. Okay, we've already probed eight cylinders, which would take two hours, let alone hours of math. On a regular bridge port trying to qualify a block, it's just useless with a machine like this. We're going to probe the decks now. We're going to try to get the deck height from one side to the other. It'll qualify the deck in four spots. Once again, it'll roll over to side number two, which is the right bank. Now, I've already probed off of this bar here, our cam bar, to get dead zero, and I've already set that on the machine. <clears throat> right now, it's on a dead 45 degree, which is easily watched on this screen. It's dead on. That's infinite numbers. It's to the tenths of a thousandth of a degree. And now it's finished the probe. As you can see, it's probing complete. And I'm going to see the operations now. You can zoom in on this. I'm going to go back to where I was probe the block. The bore results, as you can zoom in on this. This is actually number one cylinder. And as you can see, it's only one thousandths out of square. If I scroll down, this cylinder, one thousandths, one thousandths, nine tenths, three thou, which is a little unusual, but not too bad with a stock block. 2.5, one thousandths. The other bank is five thousandths down a little bit. And this is why we do this, because this, <clears throat> those cylinders weren't done by me. This is 3 and 2.5. 7, as you can see, the circle's moved out a little bit. It's 5. Not a big deal. And uh, this is, is 6. So uh, I did a repair on the one cylinder, and these are a little bit out. I can correct them if I board it. I'm going to check the deck results. I just decked this to 9.1795, and as you can see, it's 95, 94. I took 1 thousandths off the other side. It's 93, 7, 94. So I'm going to take one more thousandths off this side, and the block will be perfectly square and chamfer the board. So that's as easy as it gets with a uh, centroid uh, machine with uh, the four-axis block machining center. Uh, nobody, if they don't have this, they can't qualify your block like this or like I can. And once the bores are set, somebody's already done, already done it, off the probe, I can bore off the probe or blueprint, whichever I can make work. Anyway, that's it.